That's right. We are in the middle of summer and people should be watching for ticks, especially ticks that carry Lyme disease. Joining us live this afternoon is Dr. Greg Searing from Aurora Health Center in Waukesha. Lyme disease, ticks, always a big concern in this area. What are some symptoms that people should look for? Well, symptoms of Lyme early on, typically people will have flu-like symptoms. Um, sometimes they're very nonspecific, but things that people really want to be looking for is that classic bullseye rash. Mm. And um, Is this a serious condition? It can be. So if it's not caught early and treated early, it can progress and affect other organs of the body, the heart, the brain, and the joints. It can be very debilitating. We were just watching there. It's kind of squeamish. <laughs> yes. We can see uh, uh, Shannon's reaction there. But if you find that you have a tick on you, you know, what should you do? How, can you remove it? You can. So a simple technique is to get a tweezers and put it as close as the, to the head as you can. Mm -hmm. And with gentle force, lift up, remove the tick. Once you've removed the tick, just clean the area off with soap and water. Okay, doctor, so how do we just avoid this altogether? Yeah, so uh, simple measures go a long way. So if you're outside in the woods, you should wear long pants, long uh, shirt uh, sleeves. Uh, use bug repellent can be very helpful as well. And you really should do an inspection. I mean, even if you go outside and you know, you're in a wooded area, you might not see them on your arm or something like exactly. that. But they can get oh. into your head and other parts that you, know, you almost have to, even if you jump in the shower, it doesn't mean it's gonna uh. fall off, right? Absolutely. But if you can take a shower after you've been outside, that can be helpful and do the tick checks afterwards. So just to kind of wrap this up, what should someone do if they have a problem or they suspect that they may have Lyme mm -hmm. disease? If you suspect you have Lyme, the best thing to do is call your doctor, make an appointment and address your concerns with them. And if they feel any further diagnostics are necessary, they'll go forth with those. All right, Dr. Siri, thank you very much yeah, for updating you. us on a very important thank you very concern. Much. So if you have a question for our experts, email them at asktheexpert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your screen. As we